If you want the absolute best 4K picture, color and motion from your On 4K Plus or On 4K Pro, this video will walk you through everything step by step. We're going to optimize your picture settings, fix motion issues and make HDR and Dolby Vision trigger correctly and make sure your audio comes through exactly the way it should. These are the settings that I personally use to get the best 4K performance out of both models. Let's get straight into it. Before we touch anything, make sure you're using a certified HDMI 2.0 or 2.1 cable. On your TV, check that the HDMI input is set to enhanced or UHD color. This is what allows proper 4K HDR and Dolby Vision to pass through, and without it, you'll never get the best quality. If you're using the On 4K Pro and you prefer wired internet, plug in Ethernet. Otherwise, both models handle Wi-Fi 6 really well for 4K streaming. Now, let's make your movies look right. From the home screen, go to Settings, Display and Sound, Match Content Frame Rate, and set it to Always. Now movies and shows are usually filmed at 24 frames per second. If your on forces everything to 60 hertz, you'll see tiny but annoying stutters in motion. Turning this setting to always allows your on box to match the original frame rate so motion looks smooth and accurate. You'll see a quick black flash before a video plays, but that's completely normal and means the switch is working. While you're here, tell me in the comments, do motion issues bother you more or is it color accuracy, the thing that you always notice first? Next, let's lock in your HDR settings. Still in display and sound, open dynamic range and color format. Depending on your on version, you may see different menus. Some on builds hide this option entirely. And that's because Google TV automatically negotiates best HDR format for you. So don't worry if you don't see it. Most important, make sure match content dynamic range is turned on. This ensures that SDR stays SDR and HDR or Dolby Vision titles switch automatically. Under resolution, leave it set to auto or manually choose 4K 60 Hertz if you prefer. If the edges of your image look cut off or zoomed in, Fix the overscan on your TV, not on the on-box. Look for options like Just Scan, Screen Fit or Full Pixel inside your TV's picture settings. If you play cloud games or use game streaming apps, open Advanced Display Settings and turn on Allow Game Mode. This lowers latency without changing your normal video quality. To get the best audio, go to Settings, Display and Sound, Advanced Sound Settings. Now set Surround Sound Format Selection to Automatic. If an app still doesn't show Atmos correctly, switch to Manual, then enable Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Atmos when available. If your on goes straight into a soundbar or AVR, choose that device as the output. If the on goes into your TV first, the TV will pass audio along through ARC or eARC. To test, play an Atmos title on Disney Plus or Prime Video and check your TV or soundbar info panel. Now, Bluetooth headphones will always be stereo, that is totally normal. Now this lets your on remote turn your TV on and off and control the volume. Now different brands call this different things like AnyNet Plus, Bravia Sync, Simplink or EasyLink. 
So make sure it's turned on in your TV settings as well. If any device in your setup keeps powering on or off unexpectedly, turn off CEC for that device only. The On 4K Pro includes 100 megabits per second Ethernet, which is perfectly fine for 4K streaming. If you stream high bitrate local files through Plex, add a USB to gigabit adapter to the Pro's USB-A port for faster speeds. The On 4K Plus doesn't have Ethernet, but its Wi-Fi 6 performance is excellent. If you need more ports or wired internet, use a powered USB-C hub. For extra storage, plug in a fast USB drive. On the Pro, use the USB-A port. On the Plus, use a USB-C hub. Then go to Settings, System, Storage, Select your drive and choose Format as Device Storage so that you can install apps onto it. If storage on the Plus won't play ball, just unplug and reconnect the drive, reformat it and make sure ADB debugging is turned off. I'll leave links to the USB drives and OTG adapters that worked for me in the description and pinned comment. If you want a cleaner Google TV layout, you can enable apps only mode. Go to settings, accounts and profiles, choose your profile and scroll down to turn it on. You'll still keep all your apps, but voice search and recommendations will be disabled. And that's it. The best 4K settings for your on 4K Plus or on 4K Pro. If this helped you get a cleaner picture or better sound, give the video a like and let me know which model you're using in the comments. And if you want direct help with your devices, access to content I can't post publicly, all priority replies, check out my channel memberships. Members get into my private chat group where I answer questions personally. Just tap join below. Make sure you subscribe for more streaming tips and device guides, give me a follow over on X and TikTok, and check out the Tandas Tech YouTube channel for more streaming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.